Hey, this is Tamara, signing on with Carrion. I was hoping gross noises would happen. There we go. Okay, took a little bit longer than I wanted. Anyways, so Carrion, um, released, well, earlier this year, like, way earlier, like, mid late July, uh, but, uh, published by Devolver, Di Devolver Digital and developed by Phobia Game Studio, which I think had a hand in Fall Guys and a bunch of other stuff. Anyways, so Carrion, this was just like a little indie game I kept hearing about. Oh, wait, no, 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 people also search for, where is there? I was carrying their only game? Oh, okay. Sorry, I'm j I got it confused because it said people also search for and I missed that. Oh, they're also known for a game called Butcher in 2016 and it looks like the reviews are good. Okay, anyways, so Carrion. I kept hearing things about this keep popping up over and over. Uh, but yeah, basically like a game where it's the thing and you're the thing. A mishmash of meat, muscles, teeth, and claws that just bumbles around a facility and just tearing everything apart. And that's the kind of sick and twisted stuff I'm into. <laughs> I have played it a little bit, like, what am I? It's been a couple of days. I'm almost like an hour or so in. I've gotten to the third upgrade, but I figured why not start a new game? Record it, because why not? New game, because why not? Yeah, so we're just like this, like, um, <laughs> spaghetti pile with all sauce, and we just, like, go around. Moomin is, like, oddly satisfying, so you just kind of, like, string along everything. <laughs> Sorry, it is very amusing. Oh no, they found me. Better make a run for it. <laughs> And yeah, you just plow through stuff, and when we get stronger, it's crazy, but we'll get to that. I'm coming for you. And then yeah, controls are a little awkward, but you get used to them, and yeah, we just grab anything in our way and eat. So it's, I don't want to say, it's not necessarily correct to say it's a Metroidvania, but it's kind of like, you go around, you backtrack, get over here. <laughs> you go around, you know, eating people, getting bigger and stronger, finding facilities and, you know, upgrades to like get stronger so you can access new areas. Get over here. And you kind of um, backtrack a bit. But again, Metroidvania isn't necessarily the right way to describe it, because at least as far as I've gotten, it's very linear, which isn't a bad thing, it's just, you know, it's not very, um, not super explorative, and there's not really much benefit to besides, the exploring is just like the main path, and that's kind of like as simple as it gets. So, you know, Metroidvania-esque, but to call it one is like not entirely accurate, but I digress. Anyways, we're just going along, we just grab levers, open stuff, and try to maneuver around. We can pour into, like, these cracks and just, like, spread ourselves out. Like, start opening doors. And start opening doors or, like, get health back if we need to. And yeah, it's very kind of interesting. It's, like, fascinating to watch, like, your monster just, like, tentacle around everywhere. Just like the way it moves and acts is very gross and fascinating. <laughs> what way do we want to go? As you just kind of like, if you can squeeze your head through something, you're just like, you can go in. I have no idea which way to go first, but I'm just going around. Nope. Yeah, you kind of, like, gotta point your tentacle in order to, like, grab and move around. Or, you know, you just move around by just, like, going, and then you gotta, like, operate your tentacles, like, independently in order to, like, grab stuff. <laughs> and, yeah, just, like, where you point, like, your tentacles, or, your, like, your stringy bits just, like, latch onto stuff to help you maneuver. It is very creepy and cool. So again, I played a good deal already, but apparently it's a short game, and I figured let's play something relatively simple. 
get another indie game off my list, because I've heard, like, decent things. You know, it's got pretty good reviews, and mainly from what I've heard is, like, it's very fun and satisfying to, like, mess around with this gameplay, but uh, be careful, because it's pretty easy to get lost, because there's no map. You know, we're a flesh pile, so we have no um, way to, like, look at a map that's coherent. But you gotta be careful because it is pretty easy to get lost and that can be very frustrating. So I didn't get I only got lost a little bit in my when I was playing earlier, but we'll see how that goes. Bleh. All right. So yeah, we're just playing. <clears throat> yeah, and sometimes when you just like find one of those like crevices, you either like open something, you open, start opening a part of a door, or just like, sometimes it's just like a resting spot. Bleah. Catch. Whoops. Yeah, it can get a little confusing. Here is everything. It can get a little confusing trying to figure out like what you're grabbing onto, but, oh wait, there we go. It'd be a little confusing to like figure out like what you're grabbing onto, but you know, it's not that bad. Because, you know, precision isn't super necessary. Unless there's, like, a lot of enemies around. But again, it's not necessarily precision that, you know, you'll manage just fine. Okay, we gotta go this way. Yeah, it's just stuff happening. You can just throw things, grab people, and just, like, toss them. Getting there. I think we're close to an upgrade. Oh, yeah, here we go. Yeah, just when we find those. Arachnop arachnophytus? Physis? Yet yeah, now we can basically shoot a web. So we can grab people or grab levers through, like, cracks and, you know, other spaces. <clears throat> From what I've gotten, you know, I've gotten, like, the th three power so far. There's this web shooter, which is actually pretty useful. Um, then there's, like, a, like, a bash ability that's pretty destructive and only works, like, if you're a bigger size. And that's what's kind of interesting to me is, like, oh, that's what's kind of interesting to one, I'm wondering is, like, how big can you get? How many upgrades are there? And, like, what else can you do? Is this, is like, an invisibility thing? There's, like, that echolocation thing. It's fun to just make noises at things. I don't know if it's entirely necessary to eat every part of a human, but you know what? I'm gonna try. Uh, no, wait. Uh, then we have to go down here first because. Bleh. All right, that gets us back up there, but we still gotta find. Oh wait, that must be nearby. I think. <clears throat> there we go. That's probably right. So I just figured short and sweet. I gotta play more um, indie games from this year, anyways. You all right? No. Then I guess you won't mind if I eat you. <laughs> all right. Uh, no. Up. Yeah, echolocation, like find stuff. No, not this way. I think we gotta go... Wait. Yeah, maybe this way, but just a different... No! Ah, shoot. Yeah, shoot. I think I made a mistake. Oh, well. Wait.
Now I see where I messed up. Okay, I just missed a spot. Don't come closer. You're gonna regret it. Now we have our exit. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just gonna keep making noises. Hazardous Waste Landfill, we can't get through there because we need the bash ability or whatever it is. Having like a little bit of knowledge from the start I think is helpful, which, you know, we'll see where it takes me. But basically I heard that like this is a pretty short game, and yeah, I've been meaning to play more indie games, and I just thought this would be fun. You know, if Devolver's involved, you know, they have a pretty damn good track record, whether they're publishing or developing, so you know, if they put their faith in something, this has to be like, you know, at least, at the worst, decent. Okay, then we got like these big computers. Yeah, and then we got like these flashback sequences, and I'm guessing this is like how the people found. Oh, right, yeah, we can just analyze stuff. I'm guessing this is like how the people found like this monster, or like what they did to like awaken it, or like, you know. A precursor to the experiments that might have been done. You know, they wait too long before telling you how to use the run button, so I'm just using it now. Wait. <clears throat> Patch of ante antediluvian something? Whatever. Antediluvian moss. There we go. Yeah, so mainly these just like minor puzzles that you can solve. Did I get to the second or third one of these? I think the third? I don't remember. Gotta pay a little bit of attention. A disorganized mass of bones and dry tissue. And yeah, sometimes finding your way around here can be a little obscure, like this, where you gotta like plant the C4 and everything. <clears throat> and then you gotta wait for them in order to, you know, set up the rest of it. And so, you know, as far as I played, these aren't my favorite sections, but once you figure out what you're doing, you can get out of them fast, and that's mainly what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to get out of the slow bits in order to get back to, the, like, the, you know, mass of flesh running around. <clears throat> I suppose these slow bits are supposed to like contextualize the fast bits and like give you a little bit of a break, but eh, it's not that in interesting or enjoyable, at least not yet, as far as I saw. <clears throat> and you know, you have to do them as well, because the next part of the door doesn't open until you do them. I guess we'll see. This? No, wait. Wait. No, never mind. I kind of like the sound, like, okay, yeah, we've been looping around here. I like the sound of, like, the pitter patter of, like, the tentacles, like, latching onto the walls. There's something, like, honestly a little satisfying about that. Because, like, uranium mines. Yeah, you just kind of get sent wherever. You know, sometimes, like, one of those, you know, holes will send you to an, a loca new location. Sometimes they're a save point or something. Just kind of whatever they feel like they're doing at the moment. I'm just trying to make sure no one can hurt me. Eat everything just because I can. Can I remember to use my echo location more? Starting to mess with that. There we go. 
And yeah, it's not really a strategy, but usually it's just like thrash around until, oh yeah. But if you set them up in certain ways, you can just like rip them apart. I'll get to you in a moment. Yeah, if you, like, attack them in a certain way, you can just, like, rip their, like, spine out <laughs> from their skull. And, like, I'm sure there's, like, other ways of, you know, mutilating. I think I got an achievement for that. Ooh, nice. Yeah. Nope, mine. Waste not want not. <laughs> Probably not necessary to chow down on everything, but it's fine. Whoops. Goodbye. Yeah, then we got like these heavily armored soldiers. They're a bit of a pain because you really gotta get around them in order to like... Yeah, you gotta get around them in order to, like, attack them, because they got those shields, and then they also, like, break that open. Thank you. Yeah, they're just, like, really hard to deal with. Zephorina? Zephoria? Yeah, now we can just do, like, this bash attack. We're getting there, we're getting there. I don't know how many upgrades there are, even, but... Yeah, those shield guys, and they got, like, the laser shield, so you can't attack them directly, so you gotta figure out, like, a way around them. Bit of a pain, but once you figure it out... Now I'm just gonna look around real quick. Because I'm... Nope, don't need to go that way. And, you know, after that upgrade, we're now, like, an even bigger mass. We're just, like, this meat snake. There must be some way... And there are some things you can do to, like, if you find, like, large um, spots of water, you can, like, deposit, like, part of your biomass. Because you have to sometimes, now that we got, like, this bash ability, we can't use the um, spider web attack. There we go. Getting it figured out. Yeah, we, so we need to become small again in order to use certain abilities. So there's a little bit of, like, bodily management, if you want to call it that, and in order to get certain effects. Which I suppose is fair. A little more puzzle mechanic to that, on top of everything. Yeah, and then just, like, everything gets out of our way, because we push it so far out of the way it breaks. I can only imagine, like, how terrifying that is. It's like, you hear it behind the walls, and, like, it snacks on, like, people you work with for who knows how long, until it just, like, bashes through the door. <laughs> At least it killed you from that impact before it got a chance to eat you. Very dark, but kind of like a very, like, grimly fascinating. <laughs> if you're quiet, you can hear their little yelps and screams. Blech. 
just flashing out f madly at anything that's nearby. Nom, 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 nom. Yeah, we have to don't have to be this thorough, but we are going to be. At least for a while, until I get annoyed. No, wait. We've been... Wait. Try to remember. Wait. I think this looped us back around. I don't think we were supposed to go back this direction. Okay. So that's a shortcut, though, so that's maybe useful for later, I don't know. Okay, so now we gotta go back that direction, because now that we have the bash... Whoops. Yo. Oh god! Just look at that mess, and it's like, how like the different parts of it are just like dangling and attaching in certain ways. It is so twisted and kind of kind of awesome. I let the other guy get away just because I wanted him to. Oh, he actually did get away. Okay. Well, that's fine. Oops. Oh, right. We gotta get smaller again in order to... Yeah, so then we can deposit biomass. Flip, 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 flip. Oh, wait, that's right. My bad. You gotta have to grab your biomass again in order to form back with it, otherwise you, like, deposit yourself, and I'm wondering if that's, like, a mechanic that's gonna be more important later. I don't know. Oh, wait, what am I doing? I just went around in a circle. Okay. Too bad we're big. Crap. Oh god. Nah, shoot. Yeah, they got a little cocky there. I thought I body slammed one guy and then at least you load fast and again, usually I think you just ops, you know, save back at those places. Nope. Okay, well, fine. Need a little private time. Yeah, I don't know what's up with the armored guys. You just like flail them around for a while just because you can't chew them. I don't remember what. Echolocation. Locate edible corpses. Did I miss this? Gain access to one contamin contaminant unit. Huh. I must have missed that somehow. I have no idea how that... Okay. 
Um, let's go back down here real quick. Get biomass, heal up. Then we can deposit biomass again, but we don't need to. I think, yeah, that's the one we have to go to. We just opened that one. I feel like we're making a lot of progress for, you know, less than 30 minutes. Yeah, and I saw these, and I don't know what to do about them yet. They're kind of, like, wedged in there. I see. I thought maybe, like, you had to, like, pull them out with, like, webbing or something, but maybe you need another upgrade. Guess we'll see. You know, those are, you know, just based on how, like, they're built, you know, I've, there must be something you can do. Something you can't push them in, because you gotta push them out. I don't know. Anyways. Right, though some levers also reset lasers like that, and we need another ability in order to get past that. We're getting there. Yeah, we also got like those bots that you can just like smash open because we're a big giant beast. Uh, nope. Uh, not there yet. There's another computer. I think I'm pretty close to where I was at. Let's finish up this... Actually, no. Yeah. No, let's... Well, we'll see. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know why they were having us face this way when they, we can't go in that direction. So that's kind of odd. Another flashback. This one, you got a lot of running around to do. Uh, no, wait, we can't go that way yet. I'm trying to remember, hope I'm not missing anything, because you need a lever, I think. Yeah, we need to find a rod for that lever, and then... Boy, that looks gross. There we go. The way that water rose up was really odd. Cyclopean entity of unknown origin? Hmm. Push that out of the way. Kind of odd. Thanks for making me do all the work, guys. Some lab assistance. Jesus. No, you guys can't go there without me. No, come back. Guys, no, wait. And here we have it, possibly. Guys, I found something! It looks like it could destroy us all! Let's mess with it! Okay, so I think we've gotten pretty far. We're almost- we're already almost to where I was when I stopped playing, so we'll catch up to me well after and be- we'll catch up to me and be beyond that next time. So, uh, until next time, thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed, like and subscribe and all that. This is Tamara, signing off.